them with glory and bestow them with honor. Hear now our prayer, and if it's your will, grant our request. Support Mary Jane in this her hour of distress, and comfort her in this her hour of sorrow. We may relentlessly work for justice, interest, and welfare of the Filipino people, now and forever. Amen. Sisters, their friends, good evening. I am Father Hill from the Indonesian Catholic community in Hong Kong. pray in the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Loving Father, we give you thanks and praise for gathering us here today, tonight in this place. We come here to pray for Mary Jane and his, her family. We pray that Mother Mary also help her at this time of difficulties. Help our country in Indonesia. And also, we ask you to help all people gather together here in this evening that our prayers may be heard. We come together to say the same prayer Our Father who are in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth and in heaven. Good evening, sister, brothers. I'm not proud to stand here today because it is not a good moment to be proud of. I haven't met Marie Jane, but the member of our organization has visited Marie Jane, and Rihanna has met Marie Jane. We realize that her case was intentionally being covered up by the Philippine Embassy in Indonesia. the real truth of her case. Even the lawyer who was hired by the Filipino embassy was informed not to talk to the media. When Marinchen was arrested on 25 of April 2010, she was just like us seeking for a job in Kuala Lumpur. The only reason why she went to Indonesia because she trusts so much Christina that she, Christina, will find her a job after helping Christina to meet Christina's friend in Indonesia. Without her realizing, there was 2.6 kilogram heroin planted into her luggage. Understand? When you say regret, means do you regret? It's different with do you admit? And this is one of the simple things that put Marie Jane into a death row. She was actually found guilty, sentenced to death, without even understanding the language of the law in Indonesia. The president of Joko Widodo has promised a lot before the election. He will protect the poor people, he will protect the migrant workers. He, he even signed the migrant workers charter in Indonesia, promising that he will do his best to serve, to protect the migrant workers. And now, in his hand, there is one victim of human trafficking and drug syndicate, she actually refused to even take a look into her case and rescue Marie Jane. How can he actually rescue 227 Indonesian in death row if he cannot even rescue one Filipino in his own? Justice for all migrants! Justice for all migrants! Save the life of Marie Jane! Save the life of Mary Jane! Lord, we praise and thank you for gathering us tonight, for giving us this opportunity to call on you, Lord, to hear our supplications, to hear our petitions, to hear our prayers. Lord, please hear our prayers. Kepada Mary Jane, semoga selalu mendapatkan ampunan. Laumul Fatihah, Audo Billah, Mina Shaltani, Rajim, Sembilai, Rahmani, Rahim.
migrants in death row. Uh, first, I would like to express our uh, deepest appreciation for the solidarity expressed by our, uh, extended by our uh, fellow migrants, uh, our uh, brothers and sisters from Indonesia. Thank you for supporting the cause of Mary Jane. Our uh, brothers and sisters from Nepal, thank you for coming over. Our uh, brothers and sisters from Thailand. And also our brothers and sisters here in Hong Kong, local people, expatriates, who are all here with us, expressing support and solidarity so we can all try to save the life of Mary Jane. If you will remember, many years ago, we already have the story of floor contemplation. And way back in 1995, the government came up with that law, the Migrant Workers Act of 1995. And they said that this law was enacted so there will be no more floor contemplation. But after floor contemplation, every day, Four to six dead bodies of our fellow migrant workers are returning back to the Philippines every day. So again, it begs the question, what is our government doing? It also begs the question, why are we in the first place overseas? Why, why are we not in the Philippines? Why is there no job for us? in our own country. Why our teachers are going to Hong Kong to become domestic workers? Why our nurses are coming to Hong Kong to become domestic workers? Why are our Filipino doctors going to the United States and also to Canada to become nurses? Why are the Filipinos, 6,000 of them, living every day to find jobs overseas? There is something very wrong in our country. If we do not end this cycle of labor export, now the mothers, next year, our daughters, our sons, in the future, it will be our grandsons and our granddaughters who will go overseas and become slaves overseas. We have to stop this vicious cycle of labor export. And the only way we can do that is if we can actually have a caring government, a government that will address the root cause of forced migration, a government that will create an economy that will give us jobs in our country, that will not force us to go overseas. A government that will provide services, basic services, will provide free education, will provide free health care, free public housing, and not capitalize and make profit out of these services. We have to build a nation, a government, that will cater to the needs of the Filipino people. We should have lands for the farmers. The land should be distributed to the farmers so that our farmers can till their own land and will not be subjected to the exploitation of the landlords. And we have to dismantle this government, this bureaucracy, with all these traditional politicians who are using their position to make money and to enrich themselves. That is the only way we can stop this vicious cycle of exporting Filipinos. That is the only way that we can have a future that there will be no more floor contemplation, no more Mary Jane, no more migrants like us who will be discriminated in Hong Kong, no more Filipinos who will have to go overseas to become domestic workers even if we are licensed nurses, teachers, and doctors in the Philippines. This is what we should fight for. 
Today we fight for justice for Mary Jane. Today we fight so that we can save the lives of Mary Jane. But it should not end here. This fight should go on and this fight should be should continue until we are able to develop and to build a country that will, will bring us all back, will cater to us, that will encourage Filipinos to go back home, will provide jobs to all of us, to our children, so that we will no longer have to leave our families, our children back home. That is the issue at hand. Today, we come together because our fellow migrant domestic worker, Mary Jane, is probably going to die in the next two days. We are showing the power of the people. The people together, not only Filipinos, but the people of the different nations are coming together to show our strength, to show the solidarity, and to show that we can do something. If our government fails to do something, let's show to the world and let's show to this government that we as the people can come together to do something to save the life of Mary Jane and to give justice to all the people, the poor people in the world, to all the people in the Philippines, to all the people in Indonesia, in Thailand, in Nepal, to all the toiling people in the world. We Stop the execution! 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 St